Howdy, welcome to the Kids Books. And tonight we're going to answer some of your questions. Chester asks the question, why does the rocket ship break up to go into space? Well, it doesn't really break up. So here we have the Saturn V rocket that went to the moon. You can see it has one, two, three stages. And so that's why it looks like it breaks up here. I'll show you now the difference. Okay, here you see you've got the first stage, an interstitial ring, which is just a fancy word for the ring in between, which connects the two stages. Then you've got the second stage and another interstitial ring and the third stage. Now, Chester's question, why does it break up to go into space? Because it's too heavy, it's too big. You don't need the whole thing to go to the moon. Okay, so you really only need the third stage and the command and service module, okay? So these two stages here are just used to get away from the Earth and get into orbit around the Earth so we can go to the moon. Let me show you the next one. So first, this is how it goes. First, it takes off all three stages and the command module on the very top with the service module. You put them together and that is the command and service module. The whole thing takes off over 7 million pounds of thrust. Stage one, two, and three all together, okay? Then somewhere around, oh wow, what was it, two minutes? The third stage, uh, the second stage takes off and the first stage goes away. Yeah, it, 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 they just eject it down back to earth. So now we've got the second stage and the third stage still around the earth in, in earth's atmosphere okay then as we keep going we finally get into orbit with just the third stage and the command and service module on the top so this is now in orbit around the earth you'll notice those other two stages are gone 80 percent of the fuel and the thrust is used just to get in orbit around the Earth. Okay, so if we go back here, this now orbits the Earth, the third stage, it's called a parking orbit. And then at the just the right moment, it takes off again and gets out of the orbit from Earth and goes to the moon. And then the command and service module at the right point also eject the third stage. It's not needed to go all the way to the moon. And just the command module and the service module right there go to the moon. So that's why, Chester, because 80% of the power and thrust is used just to escape Earth's gravity and put us into orbit around the Earth. Let's watch that launch from Saturn V. 10, 9, Eight, ignition sequence start. Engines on. Five, four, three, two, one. All engines running. Launch commence. Lift off. We have lift off at 9.34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The tower is clear. And we have a roll program. Adjourned. The Saturn first stage lived but two minutes, 41 seconds. Houston, thrust is go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger. You're loud and clear. You... Two minutes, 41 seconds. Time to throw Apollo 40 miles up into the sky, and then an empty shell to fall back into the sea. All right, my friends, if you like that video, go get the book. And in the next video, I also show you 
all of the stages and the journey to the moon and back. This was just answering Chester's question. So if you like this video, please hit those buttons, like, share, subscribe, and you'll always get the next video. I answer your questions every Friday, just in time for the weekend. All right, my friends, see you at the top.